Hello. I have Lillian with me today. No, no, you don't. Yes. I, I, you're supposed to be a surprise. You what? I'm surprised. Oh. You're the you're surprised. You're joking me. Today I have Lillian with me, and we are going to do a craft kit. We're gonna try ceramics. Huh? That's what they're called. Yeah, like oh. a pottery wheel, but not just any pottery wheel. We're trying to right. We're gonna try. Tiny ceramic studio. Spin Let's see. the pottery yep. it says wheel. spin the pottery wheel and you make little tiny pots and, and, you think. and paint it and It things. says 15 plus projects. Yeah, on the back here. So it looks like we sculpt, paint, glaze. Yeah, let's open it up. Okay. See what we get inside. It's poking enough, right? See? <laughs> Don't stab me. Stab. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. That was a terrible noise. What so uh, we get a little like papery bowl. Paper bowl. I'm guessing this is the clay. So we get some sculpting tool, glaze. Whatever this is. A little rolling pin, the turntable, a paintbrush, and some paints. This was probably here. And then we got tiny ceramic studio how-to book. Okay. Don't judge. Don't judge. Look at the cute snail. It looks like it's not too photoshopped because the painting isn't like booty, beautiful, perfect. It's mm. like not pretty at all. You will get what? No, that's not what it says. What you get. Client colors, all the stuff we already saw. This craft can get messy. Have paper towels ready to wipe your hands and spills. You will need a cup of water, paper towel, scrap paper, or parchment paper. Go get it. Nope, that's your job. Nope. So you got Scott Popper. That's not a cup. That's a water. <laughs> and paper towels, okay. Itty bitty bowl, tells you how to do that. When do we get to use the turntable? What's that for? I thought we were gonna do the little tiny pottery wheel. I guess it's just a little table you turn. It's not like an actual pottery wheel. <laughs> we'll have to find a cheap regular pottery wheel to try sometime. A squat pot. A squat pot. A wee vase. A wee vase. A wee vase. Cool coils. Oh, here's where we use the little turntable. We don't use this until we're painting. Ooh, disappointing. That's ugly, that's ugly, that's ugly, that's ugly. Don't be rude to... What are those? Legs? They're called fancy feet. Let's open okay. the clay. Hopefully it's not all dried out. I'm pretty sure this kit is, hey, let's play with air dry clay and pretend you're gonna play with a pottery wheel. Okay. Ooh, it's all it's all moist. You want to do your plate? Mm-hmm. Roll a ball of clay between your hands. Spin your hands in opposite directions. I don't know how to... <laughs> I'm getting in my sleeve. I'm just going to do it this way. Okay. Now, once you have a ball, you squish the clay flat with the palm of your hand. You have a plate. <laughs> Can I do something else? Itty bitty ball. Okay. Roll a ball of clay between your hands, spin your hands the opposite direction. I think I'm uh -huh. doing it. Push the end of the ball shaped tool into the clay. With your thumb and pointer finger, pinch around to make a ball. <laughs> like this, I think. Try that. Dip your finger in a cup of water, then smooth the edge. Okay, so dip, dip. And I think you can like rub it on like where the crackies are. I'm gonna try this thing. This says drop a ball of clay inside the paper mold. Squish the clay against the side of the mold. Let dry inside the mold before you take it out. Okay. I guess you just smush this in it like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you should judge the, the projects in the book so harshly <laughs> considering what yours looks like. Excuse me. <laughs> Are you adding a face to your itty bitty bowl? Yes. Cute. Do you want to try the squat pot? Yeah. So it says roll a piece of clay into a flat oblong. Is this oblong? It's more like a circle. Oop. There's our there's our oblong. Okay. okay. Now it says to cut the oblong like this. That's good. That's good. Nice and neat. Curl the clay around your finger so the short end ends overlap. Can it curl around your pinky? <laughs> Here, let's just use this. It's gonna be so small. 
use a bit of water and this shaping tool to smooth the overlapping edges. So, where is that one? It on this. Oh, no. Here, let's see. Okay. Use a paintbrush. <laughs> okay. Okay, a little bit of water and then smooth it. Yeah, it's so cracked. Place the cylinder on a work surface. Roll a small ball of clay and squish it into a disc. Okay, oh, there's like a cat hair in it. All right, we'll just put cat hair side down. Smooth this so it's closed. Can okay. I be creative? <laughs> this is. This is. Okay, let's well, let's be creative after we make all the ones they tell us to make. Don't you want to make the the weaves? I think look how much clay we still have left, and you're supposed to be only like 15. I think we're making them like extra teeny tiny. And then this one, cool coils. I mean, it's just a snake rolled up. I don't want to do, do that one. I don't want to do that one. We, we I don't want to do that one. Okay, hurry up and make your wee bowl for your weaves. Roll a cylinder of clay. Okay, now cylinder. What? Do we poke a hole? No, it's here. You hold the cylinder. It says get the paintbrush. It says press the handle of your paintbrush through the cylinder long ways. Lo wait, what? Okay. Push it. Push it real good. Place the cylinder on top of the bowl. I think the cylinder's too big. But anyway, it says use water and blend this together. Do it. Oh, you finished that? Good job. So we have so much clay left. Do you want to make more pottery or do you want to make whatever we want? Whatever we want, y'all. Okay. continue to work on her bunny. I'm gonna let her use up the rest of the clay and we'll let it all dry and then we'll come back and we'll paint. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> My eyes. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be back. Say bye Lily. I'm not leaving <laughs> So we let these dry for a while. So it's a different day. Why are you <laughs> We'll show you what we created. So let's see how things turned out. Try out the paint and whatnot. Meow. I that said meow. A meow. <laughs> My snail. My snail imploded. What'd you make? A little sushi. A sushi? It's a little sushi. With a face? Yes. Okay. I have, I have no idea what this is. It kind of looks like a, a raindrop or a banana. I have no idea. Um, what else? Oh, you mean a little, little puffer puffer fish? fish? I like it. This one's the best. <laughs> and that's uh, it. No, it's this. Oh yeah, that's a bunny. Don't look at it. Okay, and then here's our, our stuff we made that, like, from the kit. Let's see what happens. Take the bowl out. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Why did it all stick to it? It's fuzzy. It's a fuzzy bowl. <laughs> Like, for some reason, ugh. for some reason it's like making my teeth feel weird, like nails on a chalkboard. I don't know why. <laughs> so now, in our book, in our, in our book, it says, perfect painting. We don't need to keep a cup of water and a paper towel nearby. I have my dirty little water cup that I always use. And I got the, we got the paper towels. Okay. Um, but it says roll up your sleeves or wear short sleeves. A smock or an apron is also nice to have. Clean your brush when you're done painting, okay? Okay. So let's check out the paint before we figure out who's painting what. Let's open up the pink. I don't have good hopes about this. Oh, oh no. I don't know if this is supposed to be this thick. Ew. 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 I'm sure. Ew. Ew. Oh no. Um, let's close that. If the other ones are just, Should just we try water chunk chunk. Them down? Yeah. Okay. This is their paintbrush they gave us. Yeah, it's like soft. It's a little uh, uneven. Do you want to try painting like one of these vases with stripies? Sure. Get the chunk 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 chunk. Okay. Chunk spin chunk. It. Go. Is it working? 
Is it painting on it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that didn't Hold work. On. Mommy, come spin it. Hold on. Spin it yourself. I can't. Hurry up. I'm getting things. I was going to get, I got a palette and I got red. Okay, ready? Yeah. Spin, spin, spin. It's you're not, sp you're holding it down. What? <laughs> there it goes. It's just spinning. You're not touching it. <laughs> <laughs> when I touch it, it doesn't move. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna do this manually. So are we just getting rid of this? Yes. some of the stuff. Glaze for days. We'll paint a thin coat of clear glaze over the entire outside of the pot. Glaze, 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 glaze. I have painted so pretty. Here, glaze your bowl. Glaze, 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 glaze. I don't know why, but maybe I'm just in like a, like a mood, but I'm like done with this. <laughs> Me too. Maybe because we're making bowls and we're like meh. I don't know, maybe we're both just in meh moods. I could see someone else being like, it was so much fun. I hope the paint was better. So here's some finished products of the things we actually glazed. Lillian made a little silly miniature version of the puffer fish guy. If you could see the glaze is like nice and shiny. <laughs> the clay was fine, it wasn't dried out. The paint was poo poo. The glaze is fine. We spent $20 on that kit for a little yeah. turntable that was pointless. I think you'd be better off just getting a thing of nice air dry clay and using better paint and just using like Mod Podge or something else to glaze it. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching me and Lillian try out this uh, mini, no not mini, tiny ceramics craft kit studio. Thanks guys for watching. See you next time. Bye. Say bye. Bleh.